And speaking of India's influence, our next story is about Chandrayaan-3. You probably remember how India scripted history last week. It became the first country to land a craft near the lunar South Pole and the fourth nation to land on the moon. Now, India has given the world an even bigger reason to moon over its lunar mission. In a first, India's moon rover Pragyan has confirmed the presence of sulfur on the lunar south pole. It has also detected the presence of other elements like aluminium, calcium, iron and oxygen. Why is this discovery a big deal? And what is next on the rover's mind? Our next report tells you. Have you ever seen this element before? Maybe you haven't, but we can bet that you've used it. This is sulfur or as many Indonesians like to call it, devil's gold. Yes, they've nicknamed this element, partly due to its yellow colour, but also because it's a valuable commodity. Because an Indonesian volcano named Kawa Ijen holds sulphur in large quantities. As the sulphur deposits catch light, they make the volcano come alive with blue fire. This invites a throng of tourists and employment for locals, who use it to make a wide range of goods like car batteries, fertilizer, bleach and cement detergents. Sulphur is also used in oil refining, water processing and mineral extraction. Sulphur usually originates in volcanic activities. And do you know what else has volcanoes? The moon. It had a lot of active volcanoes in the past. In fact, many parts of the moon's surface are covered with hardened lava. So, since the 1970s, the world knew that the moon holds sulphur this yellow element we told you about. But we weren't sure if it was present in the lunar south. We knew about it in theory, but there was no direct evidence. No one knew, because no one had been there. It wasn't feasible to confirm this by orbiters studying the moon. Orbiters are spacecrafts that do just that. They orbit, but they don't land on the moon. But guess who just did? India's Chandrayaan-3. It was historic. India became the first nation to land on the lunar south on the 23rd of August. By being there, the Indian rover Pragyan was able to hold scientific experiments, something that's never happened before. It was able to measure elemental composition. And now, the rover has struck gold. Devil's gold, to be precise. In a first, it has confirmed the presence of sulphur on the lunar south and also detected the presence of other elements like aluminum, calcium, iron, chromium, titanium, manganese, silicon and oxygen. Why is the confirmation of sulphur such a big deal? Because of the stories it will tell. It can reveal insights about the moon. It can tell the world a lot about the moon's formation, as well as its history and evolution. So finding sulphur is a tremendous accomplishment. Chandrayaan-3 has already achieved one of its major objectives. After all, since it landed, the rover has been hard at work. It wanted to study the composition of elements on the lunar south, and it has. But the rover isn't done yet. Since it landed, it's been moonlighting as a hydrogen hunter. Pragyan wants to investigate the presence of hydrogen on the south pole of the moon. It's looking for signs of frozen water. If found, it will be a game changer, one of the greatest discoveries in space. Why is that? Simply put, if you want to send astronauts to the moon, a place with water would be a good spot. It could also open doors to life on the moon. Humans need water to survive. Water can be used to procure oxygen, which will provide air to breathe. Water can also be used to make rocket fuel. It will help people come back to Earth or go somewhere else in the solar system. The opportunities are endless. There's no way to water down its importance. As of right now, no one knows if the rover will be successful in finding frozen water. But on Earth, we continue to look at the bigger picture. And the fact is, whatever Pragyan does up there will be historic down here.